All right, how are you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of 7 Great Math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today, we're going to keep on talking about percent increase and decrease. However, this time, we are going to be focusing on finding the new amount. Before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing, turn the notification bell on if you haven't done so. If you want to support the channel, there's a link down in the description. If you have not seen my other channel, MTV Alex, make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link for you up here. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So, on the previous video, we talked about this page right here. We did a few samples on how to find the uh, percent increase and decrease. And I introduced this formula to you over here. New amount, original uh, amount, plus or minus the amount change. And I told you that we we're going to talk about it on the next video, which is this video. So, again, we have a formula. We're going to find the new amount. And it says original amount plus or minus amount change. And we said that it's either plus or minus depending with if it's increasing or decreasing. So let's look at those uh, couple of samples right on the assignment page, number 13, right here. It says, given the original amount and percent change, find the new amount. So again, let's rewrite this formula over here on the side real quick. So the new amount is going to be original amount plus or minus amount change. That's going to be the new formula. The new amount is going to be the original amount plus or minus amount change. Right there. Now, in order to do this, it's going to be very simple. Or we can do something super easier anyway, either, even faster than this. That's for the new amount. So to find the new amount, first we gotta know how much it changed, right? Amount change. So we have to find the amount change. In order to do that, to do that, it says three hundred percent. Let's look at number thirteen. Twenty-five dollars increased by three hundred percent. Okay. So now, from now on, every time you have a uh, percent, what I want you to do is convert to decimal and multiply okay step one every time you have a percent every anytime you have a percent convert percent to decimal and step two if increase Add to original. If decrease, subtract from original. That's all we got to do to find the new amount. First step, convert percent to decimal. Step two, add or subtract from original to original. That's it. So let's look at number th uh, 13. So now, again, the formula is new amount, original amount, plus or minus the amount change. Okay? Now, to find the amount change, we're going to do two steps. Because now we're giving a percent. We're going to convert that percent into a decimal. And then if increase, we're going to add it back to the original, which is plus add okay original amount change and if it's decrease we're gonna subtract from the original okay so 300 that's my percent we're gonna convert to decimal one two that becomes three convert to decimal and multiply by the original okay that's the original right here right we're gonna convert to decimal or in this case it's a whole number 3.0 we're going to multiply. This is going to give us 75. 75 is going to be the amount change. That's how much it's going to increase by. As it seems increase, we're going to add new amount, original amount, 
which is 25 plus the amount change which is 75 and that gives us how much 100 so my new amount is gonna be a hundred dollars that is it okay now what if it's decrease again same thing uh number 14 we have 160 bananas 20 percent decrease so if it's decreased you know that you're gonna have less than 160 right that's a given because it went down again first thing convert percent to decimal one two that's 0 0.2 so we're gonna multiply by the original 160 times 0.2 correct when you multiply that when you multiply that you get 320 how many decimal places do i have one so move one over so it's 32. so my amount change this is the amount change right now is it increasing or decreasing decreasing so we're gonna take the original amount and we're gonna subtract how much 32 and when we do that how much do we get 28 is that less than 160 yes, yes. yes. so that is my my new amount new amount and why not let's do one more number 18 number 18 710 points 10 percent decrease first step convert percent to decimal right one two so this is point one then we're going to multiply by the original amount 710 times point one so this is seven one zero how many decimal places two, two, two. what one, one. one. is point oh, oh, one oh, so right here right yes, yes? no yes. so now we have 710 minus 71 which gives us 639 is that less than 710 yes, yes. yes six 639 is my new amount all right any questions about this okay so i hope that you learned something today if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed and turn the notification bell on if you want to support the channel link down in the description other than that that is going to be it for this one don't forget to check out the previous video where i did more percent increase and decrease other than that that's going to be it for today and i'll see you in the next one goodbye okay.